He's waved it all over. Emmanuel Tete angrily pushes the referee away. He wants the hell was to that, man? No fault of I was looking forward to that fight. A class too high. Friday it, it afternoon like or early he evening boxing here. But the referee has to save him from himself. I don't even know what the date is. I couldn't tell you what the date is. What's the date? It's the 27th. Yeah, Tomorrow's the 28th because it's Spence versus Porter. I'm T Street to Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Too tentative in his approach. And du and Dubai came out with a with view 360com We're going to give some highlights. This guy had no business being in there. Who's this man? Up and down the ladder, body and head, and finishing with a lovely shot. Where do they find these people? In the opening minute from Daniel Dubois. Then the body shot started to come in. The gloves came down. Let's meet right there to we give you some um, highlights. Daniel Dubois should now be 13 and 0 with 12 KOs, right? After a first round stoppage, what was that? Two knockdowns in the first, or was that the third knockdown on the referee stop? That I don't know. It happened so fast, but it was a first round stoppage, knockout stoppage of Ebenezer Tite in the Royal Albert Hall in Kensington, UK. I like that venue. But the fights tonight didn't really go that far. We're gonna look at the card. Look, they're trying to get the shit happened so fast. They're trying to get the replay. You know what I want? Since Carlos Takam is signed with top rank, right, and star boxing and top rank, as you know, has an allegiance alliance with um, BT Sport and Frank Warren fighters, then they should give us fucking Daniel Dubois versus uh, Carlos Takam, right? That makes sense. You know, Richard Lardy, he put up a hell of a fight. Nathan Gorman, uh, not so much. And Ebenezer Tite, it's like, okay, bro, all right, you got to give us something. I like Dubois, though. I like him. I like him. But this guy had no business being in the damn ring. Like, the only few punches he threw, you would look and be like, yo, what the fuck? What is he doing in there? He's getting his shit pushed in. He ain't know what to do. Damn. So I guess we're going to wait for a post-fight interview, and we're going to see what Frank Warren has to say about what may be next because, you know, he's got to move up. What about Joe Joyce? You think they would do that? You think they would do that? They've been talking about it. Joe Joyce needs an opponent. We're going to go look at the rankings, by the way. Down below in the description box, fightview360.com. Oh, let's listen in. Please subscribe. Indeed. So here's Thomas Trider. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 10 seconds of round number one. Our referee, Mark Lyson, stops the contest as the red corner was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner, and now the Commonwealth and WBO International Heavyweight Champion, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite! To well, they keep putting them in front of him. He keeps bowling them over. He's collected another belt. It's belt number seven. It's the Commonwealth title. That Belts mean nothing, though. Would it mean? He is surely competition ready to move up through the levels. We heard Joe Joyce saying maybe a couple of fights from here, maybe then it could be that he's ready. Well, it might not be the Joe Joyce like 40. Next, but on the basis of, of what we're seeing, I think most boxing fans would say that he's ready for that right now. A very, very exciting young talent indeed. Let's wait for the post-fight interview. I'm watching it on BT, I mean ESPN Plus, but sometimes they mute out the fucking day. Sometimes they mute out the interviews, and it pisses me off. You see how, like, on the ESPN Plus broadcast, they, they muted out my man Ron McIntosh. Look, look, they muted it out. Look, 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 they muted it out. All right, let's read his lips. I'm, I'm going to translate. He like, yeah, mate, uh, he, he was a very good, tough fighter, mate. Um, um, I'm ready for the big guys, Anthony Joshua, Joseph Parker, um, um, Andy Ruiz. I'd knock out Deontay Wilder in two rounds. Um, Joe Joyce, you're scum. Ron McIntyre. And what do you think about the possibility of Joe Joyce calling you out? 
And now you're the new WBO something champion with the Commonwealth title. A seven foot. He's like, well, I, I like these belts. Nah, I'm kind of pissed. I'm kind of triggered that they muted it out. Um, we're going to talk about the rankings. Maybe the sound will cut in. That's fucked up. And they've been doing this the whole night. And every now and then, on some broadcast, they do this. You know, Ron McIntosh is like fucking 6'7". No, he is a legit 7 foot, right? Look, they did us dirty. I don't see the fish, personally. People say it look like a fish. I don't see it. Well, they're not going to give us a post-fight interview. You see the bullshit? So, Daniel Dubois is ranked. These are the official rankings. I just updated them. Let's see. He is not ranked by the WBC. Surprisingly, he's not ranked by the WBA. Not ranked. Oh, he's ranked number 15 by the IBF. Wait, let's see if they... Nope. Look. Still muted. Look, did his dirty. And um, number 15 by the IBF and number seven by the WBO. But I expect him to be a little bit higher on next month's rankings, especially uh, November's, especially with um, Tyrone Sprung and Usyk happening. And Tyrone Sprung is the is, is, is the underdog. So he can jump as, as high as five by November with the WBO. Maybe they try to fucking match him with whoever this junior five guy is. Look, this is disrespectful. So once again, this is not on my end. So, I mean, I like Daniel Dubois. And if it's not Carlos Takam, see what B.Y. Jennings is doing. See what Oscar Rivas is doing. You know, and I'm talking about names that he can, like, get. I'm not going to, he's not getting Pavekin. He's not getting any of, the, any, any of those the zone guys. You know, um, Huey Fear is over on the zone now with Matchroom, so he can't get him. Look, and it's a long interview, too. It's a long interview. Um, Tom Schwartz. Out of Waleen. You think, you know, it's time for Daniel Dubois to step up. I mean, he's still only 22 years old, though, and he just turned 22. But you don't want to keep seeing him fighting guys like Tite, right? You don't want to see that shit. Staying up all late. And you know, for some reason, BT Sport Cards run late. Look. Look, they gave us nothing. Look, they gave us nothing. 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 I'm T Street Controversial with FightView360.com. Shout out to Daniel Dubois. Even though we didn't get to hear shit that he said, please subscribe.